Oh, that's the uh, the east side of the beach down there. Can't see much. It's kind of shrouded out with fog. The only chance of filming a living bird subject down there is to be super, super close. There's a mud flat in Paradise Zone. The tide has already turned. It's coming in. Yeah, my only chance to film a seal today in this in in this uh, condition is to go over to the blind and concentrate on the area of the lagoon. And of course, I didn't bring a Kleenex. Well, I have to make do with something else then. That's in case the lens gets fogged up. Up at the house, the streets, in among the houses, it was sunny and beautiful. And the fog was only, there was no fog, there was no sign of it. Only when they got here. Well, that's where the potash terminal is. But as you can see, you can't even see that. Pretty thick. That fog is pretty thick. Put my gap jacket on.
Yeah, I'll say this film has ended. Now, well, my only hope is is literally the uh, the lagoon. That's that's the only place I might be able to get a film now. Yeah, looking down here on the reef bed, I don't even see a seagull down there. I know there were some seagulls out on the uh, on the further reefs out there, but there's none here. So those birds aren't flying around too much. Yeah, that center picture, that is Aboriginal art. That's uh, an Aboriginal Indian sitting. And that triangle, remove that blue, that black triangle would represent a fire. Maybe it represented something else too, something shamanistic. The spiral was always a symbol of, of the shaman, of the mystique of the shaman. The, uh, And that triangle is, is, is roughly spiral. So yeah, that's Aboriginal art. Only a native would have left art like that. But then someone with blue spray paint came along and tried to uh, tried to do their own art. All right, I'm going to check out the lagoon and see if I have a chance at seal spotting. <laughs>